so previous session we have kept our google client id and client secret in hashicorp vault and from there we are accessing it okay so in this session we shall see how, how we can override the default spring boot configuration in hashicorp so basically if you see the Spring Boot application or Vault config by default, it looks into the secret for this path and this engine. Within this, it looks for application and it is trying to find the properties here. But in many cases, in production grade code, we want to create our own um, engine for that and we want to keep our properties uh, into that engine. So how can we do this one? So in this session, we shall see how can we override the default engine locations that Spring Vault config is looking with our custom one. So for that, let's go to our vault again. And here we enable a new engine, KV and next we keep the path code take is i'm not sure that you have this engine is already there or not okay uh, the code take is and within this let's create a secret and we give this name g login and here we put our google id and client id basically and what is this client id it is this one and we add the google client secret also so let's come here client secret and what is the client secret this is the client secret so let me take and let me paste it here so and let's see things are fine things are fine okay let's save it so what we did uh, we created our own engine code take is and within this we created part g login and within that we keep our keys and values so let me go to the secret go to the secret and this application where previously we kept i just uh, try to delete this one permanently delete so it is no longer there all our secrets are in the code take is now let's see how we can access from this default location or instead of default location from this custom location so let's come here for this we need to go to the bootstrap and here we need to add few properties it is kv colon backend and what is this backend code take is and here what we need to add another one default context and what is our default context basically our role engine is the uh, backend kb backend is our role engine and the path default context is g login so we give g login Fine. that's the only change we need to make let me stop my server and let's run it again it is started and now let's run the application started let me go to this port and check the value here it is reflected or not yes you can see this on this and secret is coming now let's see this is the same one what we put in the hashicorp port so we are able to get the value from the custom location that is we are able to read it instead of the default location that spring vault cloud vault config is looking instead of that we override the default location and it is reading from code take is g login now 
so let's go here and open a new unit and see our application is working or not post 9004 and give let me give some um and give my password next um, sorry try again what is happened yes to continue why it is checking my phone like that i'm not sure next and you can see i'm getting hello amit your available balances this much so our application is perfectly working so this is how we can override the default location uh, for the, the hashicorp fault so let's have a quick recap what we did by default hash when we use this uh, one spring cloud vault config by default it is looking the secret engine in vault and there it is looking for an application path and from there it reads the property but many cases in production we want our customs thing custom location so we created a code tech is within this g login and here we kept our user secret and id and then in the bootstrap we just add kv backend code tech is kv backend this code tech is, is the secret name basically this this one code tech is backend and the default context within this code tech is what is our secret in the g login so this is what so there's the change we do and that will override the uh, default behavior the locations the, of spring cloud vault config so this is what for the hashicorp and now we shall get back to uh, spring security and other topics so thanks thanks for your time and if you like this video it helps you then please like share and subscribe thank you and see you in the next session